Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Our topic for today is the continuity of a function, which is the lesson of basic calculus, which will be discussed in the third week. Okay, so we're going to discuss subjective first before we're going to start the lesson. So let me tell you what the objectives are. At the end of the learning episode, the students will be able to illustrate continuity of the function at a number, determine whether a function is continuous at a number or not, then illustrate continuity of a function on an interval, then solve problems involving continuity of a function. So now we're going to discuss the continuity. Okay, so when we say continuity, it involves continuous functions. Okay, so may mga conditions sa kinakailangan mag-meet ng isang continuous function. Para maging isang continuous ang function, these three conditions must be met. A function f of x is said to be continuous at x equals c if the following three conditions are satisfied. First, f of c exists. It means to say, pag ginamit na natin si c as a value, to evaluate the f of x, dapat may value siya. Dapat defined at nag-exist siya. Okay, so number two, ganun din. Okay, so limit where x approaches to c, then f of x is, exists. If we're going to use the value of c on this function to, to evaluate the limit, dapat mag-exist din. Tapos yung pangatlo, kailangan maging equal si limit x approaches c and f of x is equal to f of c. Kailangan maging equal si limit at si function pag ini-evaluate. Okay, so now we're going to discuss the graphs involving continuity of functions. Okay, so if the graph is being traced from the left side of the number going to the right side of the number, then it is said that this function f of x is equal to x minus 3 is continuous at x equals 3. So, bakit siya continuous? Kasi nag exist tong value na to eh. At kahit anong direction or kahit anong drawing natin, basta yung f of x equals x minus 3 na yun, continuous pa rin siya. Pag sinabing continuous, nag exist talaga ang function na yun at a certain value. Okay. On the other way around, okay, let's see. If the graph is being traced from going left to going right, the function value should go downward indefinitely at the left of, while at the right of, the function value should go upward indefinitely. Therefore, this function f of x is equal to 1 over x plus 2 is discontinuous at x equals negative 2. Bakit discontinuous po siya? Kasi pag nag-evaluate tayo using x equals negative 2, iba hindi naman siya part ng graph. Ibig sabihin it's outside the graph. So, hindi siya nag-exist. So, it doesn't exist based on the graph. So, magiging discontinuous ang function kapag hindi nag-exist ang value kapag ini-evaluate yung function using the given value. Okay, so now, we're going to discuss the examples first. Determine the function f of x equals 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 is continuous or not at x equals 2. So first, we're going to determine if f of c exists. Okay, if x equals 2, then ang gagawin natin is we're going to substitute 2 with x. So, ang ikakalabas nun, f of 2 is equal to 2 times 2 squared minus 7 times 2 plus 3. So, now we're going to simplify using the PEMDAS rule. So, ito yung ikakalabas natin. So, square si 2, kaya naging 4. So, yung kakalabas nun, 2 times 4 minus 7 times 2 plus 3. Simplifying this, okay, so magiging 8 minus 14 plus 3 equals negative 3. So, ito po yung sagot na natin. Ito yung f of 2 natin. Now, we're going to determine if the limit where x approaches to c, then f of x exists. So, ayan siya. Using the law of limits, Namely, sum and difference law, 
or pinag-iwalay natin. Then what did we do is we substitute. So parang pareho lang yung pagkagawa. Pareho lang yung pagkakasolve when you're going to evaluate the limit or the function. Substitution lang yan using the certain value. So ganun din ang nangyayari. Nagsasubstitute din tayo. At nagsisimplify. So napapansin natin na pareho lang yung f of 2 natin at limit where x approaches to 2 then f of x natin. Diba pareho equal sila. Ayan. So, number 3. So, dahil na-meet si 1 and 2, na-meet rin si number 3. Dahil equal ang sagot pag nag-evaluate yung limit at yung function. So, we can conclude that the f of x is continuous at x equals 2. Next example. We're going to determine if the function f of x equals x plus 5 over x squared plus 2x minus 15 is continuous or not at x equals negative 5. Una, we're going to substitute using x equals negative 5. So, ito yung f of negative 5 natin. So, yung kakalabas, negative 5 plus 5 as the numerator. Well, the denominator is negative 5 inside the parenthesis then squared plus 2 times negative 5 minus 15. So, simplifying, okay, so, simplifying for the numerator magiging 0 siya. Tapos, si negative 5 inside the parenthesis tapos squared magiging 25 siya. Kasi, na square si negative. Kaya, naging positive siya. Tapos, bakit naging minus 10 po siya? Kasi, positive times negative equals negative. So, 25 plus negative 10 minus 15. So, 25 plus negative 10 is 15, then minus 15 is then 0. So, napapansin natin yung denominator natin ay 0. So, kahit anong value ng numerator, basta denominator natin ay 0, it does not exist. Okay, so this is undefined. Or does not exist kasi 0 cannot be a denominator. We can conclude that this function is not continuous at x equals negative 5. Kasi hindi na nag-exist tong f of negative 5 na to. So, it doesn't meet any of the condition. Kaya, discontinuous siya. Or not continuous. Okay, so we're going to determine if the function f of x is equal to the square root of x squared minus 81. Yung x squared minus 81 ay under the square root is continuous or not at x equals 4. So, we're going to substitute 4 in this function. So, f of 4 is equal to the square root of 4 squared minus 81. So, yung 4 squared minus 81 ay nasa loob ng square root. So, isi-simplify na natin. So, magiging 16 minus 81 magiging negative 65. So, bakit hindi siya real number? Kasi imaginary siya. So, yung, square, yung negative value na sa loob ng square root ay hindi na makakonsidered as real number. So, considered as imaginary number. Dahil square root of negative 65 is equal to square root of 65i. Kaya hindi na nag exist to. So, therefore, this function is not continuous at x equals 4. Okay, so we're now going to discuss the intermediate value theorem. One of the applications of the continuity of the function. If a function is continuous on the closed interval a, b, and if f of a is not equal to f of b, then for any number k between f of a and f of b, there exists at least one number c between a and b such that f of c is equal to k. So, napapansin natin, Dapat yung C sub 1, C sub 2, C sub 3, dapat nakapasok siya sa mga between A and B. Dapat pasok siya dito. So, yun po ibig sabihin yung intermediate value theorem. Okay, so, yung mga values na to, dapat nagmi-meet siya under the close interval. Pag sinasubstitute yung function. So, magbibigay ako ng example dito. Okay, so, 
tell whether this given function has a solution on the indicated closed interval proof using the IVT. So, una, ang gagawin natin is we're going to equate this with 0, 3x squared plus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so ang gagawin natin is we're going to use the value of x, which is negative 1, then we're going to substitute this. Ipapalit na natin yung value of x sa negative 1. So, simplifying using the PEMDAS rule, yung negative 1 raised to the power of 3 is negative 1. Dahil negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. So, magiging 1 to dahil negative times negative magiging positive. Tapos, 1 times negative 1 magiging negative 1. Then, we're going to multiply 2 times negative 1. It will be negative 2. Then, minus 4. Then, 3 times negative 1 is magiging negative 3. Then, we're going to simplify. So, magiging negative 9. Okay. Then, f of 1 natin is we're going to substitute it sa x mismo. We're going to replace x with 1. Ipapalit. Parang evaluation of functions ng to. So, 1 cube is equal to 1. Understood na to. So, we're going to multiply first before we perform addition or subtraction. So, 3 times 1 is 3. Then, 2 times 1 is 2. Then, minus 4. So, 3 plus 2 is 5. Then, minus 4 is 1. So, we're now going to compare. So, negative 9 is less than 0 is less than 1. So, in 0, 9 ay between those two values. Yung isa negative, yung isa positive, kaya pasok siya. It is solvable or it has a solution. So, this function has a solution at the interval negative 1 and 1 which is a closed interval. So, ito po kung paano ko po mag-prove using the intermediate value theorem. Now, we're going to do the trivia time. The polynomial functions are continuous everywhere kasi pag nag-evaluate nyo sila or pinagsasubstitute mo using a certain value, may value pa rin siya. Ganun din sa absolute value, nag -e exist pa rin yon. It is continuous everywhere. Kahit anong isa substitute na natin, pareho lang sila sa polynomial functions. However, si rational function ay continuous on their respective domains. So, depende kasi sa magiging domain. Kunwari, di ba, 1x plus 3. Sa totoo lang, dahil yung x natin, yung restricted value is x is equal to negative 3. It means to say that this function is not continuous at x is equal to negative 3. So, ito ang nagpapadiscontinuous sa function na to. Okay, the square root function f of x is equal to the square root of x is continuous on the interval 0 then positive infinity where 0 is the least value. Kunwari, square root of x, pwede natin i-substitute 0, square root of 0 is 0, nag-exist yun. Pero pag si negative 1 i-ano natin, hindi na siya nag-exist dahil imaginary number na siya. Okay, maliwanag po ba? Okay, pag sinabi si x minus 4, so ibig sabihin, 4 na nasa close bracket, tapos in positive infinity siya. Bakit? Kasi pag sinubstitute si 3 minus 4, magiging negative 1. So, imaginary number na po siya. Pero pag si 5 minus 4, magiging square root of 1, magiging 1 siya. Doon nag exist siya kasi pasok si 5 dito. Pero yung si absolute value naman going back kanina, kahit anong isa substitute na natin, 
nag-exist ang value. So, now, let's do some drills and exercises para maintindihan na natin ano po ang ibig sabihin ng continuity of a function. Okay. So, we're going to determine if the function is continuous or not. So, una, is a substitute na natin. So, this is a polynomial function. So, we're going to substitute. So, ang gagawin natin, pag sinabing 2 cubed, magiging 8 siya. Tapos, pag sinabing 2 squared, magiging 4. Then, 3 times 2, magiging 6. Then, minus 4. So, we're going to simplify. Then, 2 times 4 is 8. So, 8 minus 8 will be 0. Then, 6 minus 4 will be 2. So, 0 plus 2 will be 2. So, therefore, continue siya. Okay. So, given this interval, sabihin natin negative 3 cube minus 2. Then, negative 3 cube squared pala. Then, 3 times negative 3 minus 4. So, pag si negative 3 cube, so, dahil cube ang exponent, 3 yung exponent, negative na po siya. Pag sinabing 3 cube, magiging 27. Tapos, pag sinabing negative 3, sa loob ng parenthesis, tapos exponent niya ay 2, magiging 9 siya. Then, 3 times negative 3 will be negative 9, tapos minus 4. So, simplify yun. So, kahit negative yung value na yun, nag-exist siya, kaya siya continuous. Pero we're going to solve this. Yung C na yun ay continuous ha. Yung discontinuous, yun yung hindi continuous. Okay, so pag sinapsisito na natin si ano, si x equals 7 dito sa function na to, so this is a rational function. So, we're going to substitute. Okay. So, sabihin natin, yung denominator natin ay 0. Dahil denominator niya ay 0, discontinuous siya. Hindi siya continuous. Sabihin natin, ano, itong base interval... 1, then 3. Yung 1 ay nasa open, tapos si 3 ay nasa closed. Okay, so gamitin natin si 3. Then, pasok siya dito sa interval na to. So, 2 times 3, magiging 6, plus 1. Then, 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Then, 6 plus 1 is 7. Then, sa ilalim ay negative 4. So, continue siya dito sa interval na to. Okay, so now we're going to move to the next slide. Next. So, this is an absolute value. So, we're going to substitute this wherein your x is negative 1. So, solving inside the bar. So, 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. Then, we're going to simplify it kaya magiging negative 9. So, pag Nasa loob na siya ng absolute value, magiging 9 siya, kaya siya continuous. So, from this interval, we're going to use 0 here, or 3. So, sige, 3 na tayo. So, substituting this function, so 4 times 3 is 12. Then, we're going to subtract it with 5, so magiging absolute value of 7, magiging 7 siya. siya. Kaya siya naging continuous. So, dito naman po ay radical. Okay. So, at a given interval naman to or number na to eh. So, now we're going to substitute. So, 3 squared plus 2 times 3 plus 1. Okay. So, 3 squared magiging 9. Then, 2 times 3 magiging 6 plus 1. So, is so i-add na natin lahat. Then, square root of 16 is 4. But before that, 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 1, kaya naging 16. Kaya siya continuous dito. 
then we're going to use this value kasi equal siya sa negative 2 if we're going to change this interval into an inequality. So, ikakalabas na yan ay negative 2 is less than or equal to x is 10 less than 4. So, now, we're going to substitute negative 2 here in x. So, negative 2 inside the parenthesis 10 squared magiging 4. Then, negative 2 times 2 is minus 4, then plus 1. Then, 4 minus 4 is 0, plus 1. It will be 1. Then the square root of 1 will be 1. So it's continuous. So paano natin kung x natin is negative 1? So isa substitute na natin dito. So negative 1 squared will be 1. Then plus 1 tapos minus 2. So, I just swapped it. Then, 2 minus 2 is 0. Then, 0. So, continues. Okay. So, now, we're going to move to the last questions. Involving naman to's intermediate value theorem. Okay. So, tell whether each given function has a solution on the indicated closed interval. So, prove using the IVT. So now, we're going to substitute na agad. Ipapalit na natin yung x at t. So, t plus 1 is 4. Then, f of 5 natin is 1 over 5 plus 1. That is, x natin is 5. So, 1 over 6. So, we're going to equate this with 0. 1 over x plus 1 is equal to 0. Okay, so we're going to compare... Since both are positive and mas mataas sila sa 0, kaya not solvable or no solution. Kasi mas mataas sila pareho sa 0. So, ang gagawin natin dito next step, which is f of x equals x squared plus 3x minus 4. So, yung f of 0 natin is 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 4. So, isa substitute na natin to sa 0, yung x. So, 0 squared will be 0. Then, 3 times 0, magiging 0, then minus 4. So, simplifying, 0 plus 0 is 0, then minus 4, magiging negative 4 na siya. Then, f of 2 natin is we're going to substitute 2 squared, dahil yung x natin is 2, plus 3 times 2 minus 4. So, yung 2 squared natin is magiging 4 plus 3 times 2. Yung 3 times 2 natin ang magiging 6 then minus 4. So, 4 plus 6 is 10 minus 4 magiging 6. So, if we're going to equate this function with 0, so, comparing these three values, so negative 4 is less than 0 is less than 6. So, since pasok siya dito, pasok siya dito sa function na to, since mas mababa to sa 0, mas matas to sa 0, kaya may solution to. There is a solution. So, ilagay na natin tong therefore. Okay. 